Hey guys, so as promised this is my video on the new Pacifica hair range. As with everything from Pacifica it's all vegan and cruelty free but this hair range is currently an Ulta exclusive so I have linked all of the products below if you do want to go check them out. So it all contains like really delicious super fruits and it smells really good so let's just jump in. So first up is the Coconut Power Strong and Long Healing Shampoo. This one provides a nourishing cleanse, stress protection, and lots of hydration. Lots. It's definitely very mild, but it does give a good clean without that kind of stripping feeling. And I do like to condition first and then shampoo, but I have tried all different combinations and using things in different order with all of these products, and any way that I've used it, I really liked it. The scent is kind of coconutty and sweet, but as with all of the Pacifica scents, it's, it's not that like sickly smell, so I really like it. So onto the shampoo's counterpart, which is the Strong and Long Conditioner. This is going to be the perfect match for anyone who wants to kind of revive their hair or start growing it out long and healthy. So it gives great hydration without weighing my hair down, and as someone with very fine hair, that's definitely a must in any um, shampoo or conditioning products that I use, because I can look greasy pretty fast. Like I said, I do condition first and then shampoo to give my fine hair kind of more bounce and volume. And I find doing so with these products really gives me the best of both hydration and bounce. So all in all, a great combo for anyone who needs a little extra hydration or TLC. So onto the Super Kale Juiced Up Shampoo and Conditioner. If you're someone who uses a lot of styling products and you get a lot of buildup that you just can't seem to shift, this shampoo I found to be really effective in just completely getting rid of buildup without stripping my hair. So it kind of preps your hair to do your whole styling routine over again and it just gives a really good clean. I will say the scent on this one is much more botanical than their other scents, but it's still really fresh and I really like it. So I think it'd be great for men or women who just don't want that kind of floral or fruity scent. So onto the conditioner, it basically <laughs> gives you everything that the shampoo does, but with an extra kind of weightless hydration to it. So it's great for kind of oily or limp hair because it's going to give you hydration without the like weight and slime. You know what I'm saying? Either way, I think it's a perfect combination for probably most hair types, but especially for anyone who has a hard time achieving volume, as well as anyone that gets a lot of buildup. So onto the well-conditioned one-step cleanser and conditioner. This is probably the product that I was most excited about. So it's basically a hydrating restorative co-wash, which is great for anyone with fine hair um, or just anyone who wants a little bit of added weight and slip to their hair. Something like this is really good. And I think probably most hair types would enjoy this, but especially for anyone with like fragile or fine flyaway hair, I think this would be a really good one to try. Especially if you're one of those people who washes their hair every day for whatever reason, this is going to be good because it's really not going to strip it and it's gentle enough to use daily. And with this one, I felt like it made my hair appear longer. It almost felt like the strands themselves were a little bit thicker and stronger and just generally less fragile feeling because obviously the ends of my hair are lightened so they are a bit more fragile and they would be anyway because they're the ends of my hair. And I like to alternate washes between a co-wash and then a traditional shampoo and conditioner the next time and I just find it helps me avoid like over cleansing my hair because it's so fine. I do think it needs a little bit of weight. Did that make any sense? You're probably used to it by now. So what I do is I get my hair wet and then I start working it in from the scalp and I really kind of like scrub up my scalp with it because I think it's also very good for um, if you have a dry scalp, I think it would be really good. And then I start to work it down my hair. You could comb it through with a wide tooth comb if you wanted to, but I just use my hands. And then I clip it up out of the way and kind of like go about the rest of my shower business. Um, so it's great to cut down on time as well as it's good for your hair. And as if all that wasn't enough, the scent is incredible. It smells like really juicy strawberries and I, I'm kind of tempted to like try it every time I smell it, but i um, guessing that probably not advisable. So like I said, awesome for damaged or fine hair um, or just anyone who wants a little bit of extra weight to their hair. So next up is the Coconut Superpower Deep Conditioning Mask. Do you guys remember the conditioners that come in box dyes and how they just made your hair feel like fantastic? I'm guessing those still exist because box dyes still exist. Anyway, you know what I mean. This conditioning mask really gave me that kind of sleek, fresh, just left the hairdresser's hair, which I love. And I'm, I'm talking like unimaginably soft. 
It does have a very similar scent to the other coconut um, products. I really enjoy it, but it's not something that kind of lingers too long if you're not a huge fan of coconut. I think this would be great for anyone who has like lightened hair or has like really damaged their hair because it does give you results um, from that first wash. So it's kind of nice to like, you feel like you're actually doing good to your hair for once. And you definitely don't have to struggle with like tangling or breakage. Um, once you're done and go to style it because your hair is just super manageable and smooth and not tangly So I think anyone could benefit from adding this into their hair care regimen But especially people with like damaged dry hair if you if you're like man I need to take care of my hair. This would be a really good one to try um, Because you can use it up to three times a week So in theory that could be every time you wash your hair if you do need to like just really baby your hair for a while I think it would be a really good one to try so in the same vein of detangling, the next product is the Hairbana Leave-On Detangling Conditioner. So if you are someone that really struggles with um, tangled hair, if your hair is very fine, if you have fine curly hair, um, I think this is an awesome product. So what I do is while my hair is still wet and before I've even put it up in a towel, is I will put a little bit through my hair and I don't even comb it through with my fingers, I just kind of like press it in or like smooth it. Um, and then I just put it up in a towel and when I take it back down, it's just like absorbed everything and it's much more manageable. And there's never any like slimy residue, like that's what I find a lot in my hair anyway, is anything hydrating, usually my hair doesn't quite absorb at all and then you've got like weird heavy hair. But I definitely didn't get that with this and the other way I like to use it is um, at night time. So if I know I'm going to wash my hair the next morning, I'll use like... A fairly generous amount of that and really just work it through my hair and then tie it up in a bun and then when I wash it the next morning it's had all of that time to kind of absorb all of the moisture um, and I think it's been really good for my hair oh and again because I know some of you are really into smells um, it does have a kind of light coconut scent and I really think it would be good for anyone but obviously especially people with tangly hair and of course in true Pacifica style they have great little travel kits so this would obviously be good for travel be good for a gift or if you just want to like try things out before you commit to the full size. I love their travel kits, so. Moving on to the styling goodies. So the first one I want to mention is the best day ever 10 in 1 style extending balm. What are the 10 things you ask? Let me tell you. So it defines, adds texture, hydrates, softens, nourishes, de-stresses, heat protects, um, it repels pollution, supports curls, and controls frizz. So I find this gives my hair some added like thickness as well as hold when I um, blow dry my hair. So I find that the volume stays at the roots a bit more after I've given myself a blow dry. I have used it on dry hair too. And it reminds me of Bumble and Bumble's Brilliantine, Brilliantine. <laughs> you, it's kind of hard to describe, but it like just gives your hair that like tousled, you know, happen to wake up looking perfect look, which I really enjoy. But the reason I like it for that to use on dry hair is because it does give you that texture um, and hydration too, but it doesn't have that like weird crunchy or slimy feel. So that's always good. So if you're big on blowouts or if you are someone who wants to define your curls a little bit, I think this would be a great one to try. I'm really excited to try this out in the summer where I usually let my hair just air dry because I think you could get really nice kind of textured beachy waves if you have wavy hair already. I think that would be a really good one. And again, it has like the slightest coconut scent to it, but you barely notice it once you've applied it. Next up is the Ginger Root 10 in 1 Hair Volumizer. Let's go through the 10 again, shall we? Um, so this one adds volume, gives a thicker appearance, extends style, protects against pollution, um, gives a weightless feel, oil control support, vitamins and antioxidants, adds dimension, encourages healthy hair, and contains scalp stimulating extracts. First of all, I have to mention how much I love the fact it's called ginger roots because I've got ginger roots. <laughs> so this definitely gives my hair a little added hold and bounce to it at the roots when I um, blow out my hair. And I also spritz it on my hair dry if I just want a little bit of extra texture. So I do think a lot of these products have like multiple uses. And it doesn't necessarily smell like ginger, but I can't quite put my finger on what it does smell like. It's a nice smell. So if you have fine hair or just a hair type that lacks volume and you really want something to help give that um, kind of hold at the root, then I think this would be a really good one for you. Next up is the Dragon Tamer Invisible Anti-Frizz Serum. And first of all, before you open it, this is a very liquidy product, so you only need to squeeze out the tiniest amount, otherwise you will 
have enough for a small village in your hands. I think because I'm used to traditional anti-frizz serums um, and having that kind of heavy silicone-y feel, I don't tend to buy them and I don't generally like them. But this one is definitely more softening than slimy, so it gives you a much more natural shine to your hair. It doesn't look like you've like shellacked it, you know? I think this would be great for any hair type that wants a little bit of shine, but definitely keep in mind if you have very fine hair to use a little bit less um, and build it up as you need it so you don't weigh your hair down too much. And again, I, I couldn't tell you what it smells like, but maybe it's dragon fruit. Does anyone know what dragon fruit smells like? Because I think this might be it. And then lastly is the Native Flower Nourishing Hair Oil. I love this hair oil. It contains a whole slew of amazing oils for your hair. So there's sunflower, jojoba, avocado, and argan. So it's a really great combination of things to be putting in your hair. And because it's a lot thinner than traditional hair oils that I'm used to, I find for me it's a lot easier to use because there is no residue and your hair kind of um, absorbs it a lot quicker and I think probably puts it to use quicker. I've used this to kind of perk up my ends if they're looking too dry as well as again using it as kind of like a night treatment um, if my hair needs a little bit of extra TLC. Um, and I applied it to my legs to see if it would make them shiny and it did. I tried it out for you so you would know. It does smell slightly almondy to me, but I really like it. I can't quite put my finger on what the other scents are. Um, and a little bit of this goes a really long way, so it's probably gonna last you a really long time. And I think this would be great for any hair type, whether you have naturally amazing hair or you need a lot of help like I do. So those are all of the products I've been trying out over the last few weeks. I've tried them in all different um, concoctions and combinations, and I really have enjoyed all of them. And I don't know if you guys have seen Brooke, the um, founder, owner of Pacifica, but she has incredible hair. And when she told me in LA that she uses just all of her own products, I was like, I need them because I want her hair. She has like effortless surfer babe model hair. And that's what I want. So like I said, everything will be listed below. Um, they are Ulta exclusives, like I said. And if you guys haven't signed up for Ebates, I'll put a link below too, because sometimes they do have cash back on Ulta. And I know I've not really mentioned Ebates before, but it really is just as simple as you go via their website and then you get cash back on your purchases. So it's kind of a no brainer. Any discounts I can find on any of this, I will link below. And if you have had a chance to try out any of the new Pacifica hair stuff from Ulta, then definitely let me know what you thought. I really have enjoyed all of it. Uh, like I said, I've been using it in all different um, combinations since I got it two or three weeks ago. So I have had a chance to, I feel, try everything out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you want to see next. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.